So Ricky, we're about three weeks out from Sergei Rabchenko's next European title defence. How's he been looking in the gym? He's been looking really good, yeah. He's in uh, really good form. He's been sparring well, been looking really sharp. And uh, each time, you know, it's his third or fourth fight with me now. You know, each time he's he's come in the gym, you know, for the for the for the next fight, he's looked better and better. And he's, he's each time he comes in, he's starting from a higher plane, you know, performance-wise. So. Uh, um, there was a few reasons his last fight, you know, he was a little bit disappointed, you know, that he never performed to the the standard he expects really. But there was a lot of reasons for that. He should have been boxing in France and the fight got cancelled and then he had to train an extra four weeks when he when the fight got moved to my show and unfortunately with him boxing on my undercard he couldn't I couldn't work the corner with him. So there were reasons, you know, why he was a little bit lacklustre last time, but uh, looking forward to him putting in another great performance this time, thirty for March in Monte Carlo and uh, so far, he's, he's, he's really blown my mind, you know, with how he's performing and how he's improving with each fight. How much do you know about his opponent? Obviously, you know, tough Italian, but uh, in Britain, probably a bit of an unknown quantity. In Britain, you know, not a lot of people know of him, but I mean, I've seen loads of tapes on him, you know, and uh, uh, we've got a game plan, you know, that we think we've, that will work for him. You know, I don't think this fellow will stand with Sergei. We think he'll move, you know, but... Uh, we're prepared for for everything, you know. The good thing is, for you know, if anyone wants to stand with Sergey, he can fight up close. But uh, you know, in the last few fights, he's been proving that he can cut the ring down and, and get to his opponents. Which you know, he, he let V2 in his last fight get away from him. He couldn't close the distance. Well, that's what we've been working on for this fight because I think Nietzsche will, you know, backpedal. And Sergey this time has been all over his opponent, stepping across quicker, making the ring look smaller, and. Uh, you know, the mistakes he didn't do in the V2 fight, he'll certainly put right in this fight. Do you think if he wins this fight, Sergey, he's going to be a little bit closer to a world title shot? Very much so. He's number two in the WBC now. He's not only a European champion, he's a WBC silver champion. Uh, the champion is um, is uh, Canelo, you know, um, Alvarez, you know, so uh, you no know, need to say that is an absolutely tough fight. You know, Alvarez up there with the pound, of, pound for pounders now and you know, improving all the time, but uh, you know, I don't know whether Sergey, you know, is is ready for that fight just yet. But I mean, he's certainly in a position where the next two, three fights, you know, we, I think, me and his manager will want want him fighting for the world title. To be honest with you, you know, so uh, he's heading in the right direction. When you see him improving at the rate he is improving, it would be, you know, it would be better just to hang fire just for that little bit longer. But uh, he's most certainly knocking on the door now. Two in the WBC. He's. Uh, He's there or thereabouts, so two or three more fights and we'll, think we'll, uh, we'll pitch him in, yeah. Because the world title eliminator has been mentioned, hasn't it, <clears throat> as well? Yeah, world title eliminator, well, he's, he's number two, so he's going to, you know, if you rank number two, you're going to be in a world title eliminator, so, uh, but yeah, I mean, um, he's improving all the time, you know, he's a great kid to work with, you know, he's a, he's a devastating puncher, so it won't be long before I think people over the water in the United States will be hearing of this uh, you know, this young man, but, you know, all in good time, you know, when I, it's frustrating because I can see the potential he's got, but also I, it's my job as his trainer and his promoter to hold him back and just wait for the right time. And, uh, but believe you me, when the, wait, when the right time comes along, I think he'll be world champion.